Welcome back, everybody. This is Giraffe Dragon here, bringing you another episode of Paper Mario: The Thousand Year Door. Last time we started the tr we started going through the tree, and this time we're going to be going through the entire tree. Now, uh, basically, what we're going to be doing here is that we're going to be heading towards that junction area where we fought those two piders. Anyways, I'll meet you guys there in a sec. Cut. Anyways, we're back, guys, and this time we're going to be going on, going through the left side. And you want to make sure that you bring all your punies with you. You don't want to leave any of them behind. For this next fight here is going to be a doozy. As instead of a 10 squadron like before, this time it is a 100 squad. It's the JBs! It's a, it's a 100 of the JB squad. By the way, you want to make sure that you don't lose your Pikmin, your, your punies here. Anyways, just sort of wait for them to finish it up. Okay. Got them cleared out. Anyways, you want to go ahead and just swap to Coops, in my opinion, because we're going to be running into some Pale Piranhas. Go down the pipe. And then just start mashing the B button. Anyways, uh, you want to check right behind here. You'll find another, you'll find a star piece. And then I think the only other items that we'll find in bushes at this point are coins. Hmm, this is awfully suspicious. Oh no, we've been caught. Uh huh. What? What just happened? You know that when your song starts with throws with the sound of Pac-Man dying, you know he's a he's a pretty interesting dude. Man, you guys are dense. Brilliant little trap, huh? And boy, did you bite on it! I saw you sticking that silly stone on the pedestal, so I made a fake one. Awesome. I mean, I knew it, I was great, but seeing you fall hard really gives me a warm fuzzy. <laughs> Talk about complete idiots. You guys are so dumb it hurts. Anyway, with you fools out of the picture, I can take my time hunting the crystal star. <laughs> Anyways, so essentially the pu all the punies here are trapped. And if you try and if you go to go to the elder, she won't be able to whistle them back. <laughs> this just isn't right. Anyways, you want to come down here, and you see the same pattern that we saw in Professor Frankly's room. Yeah. Sun, moon, puny, star. You want to remember that pattern. <coughs> and now, we will meet you guys back over to where we found the blue key. Cut. Anyways, we're back, guys. Now, if you remember the pattern... A little, little tune that I give myself is the sun rises, the moon falls, and the little punies protect the star. That's just how I personally remember it. But anyways, yeah, sunrise, moon, the, the sun, moon, puny star. Anyway, we're thinking, oh no, what are we gonna do? We can't get out now. Brand new ability, guys. This is our first upgrade. For Mario, anyways. Hey there, I'm Toadette. Congratulations on getting the super boots. These cool kicks power up jump attacks. And you'll be able to use a new technique, so let's practice it. Basically, double press A twice. Yeah. 
Nope, I got it. And now we can break those little platform, those little boards that we've been seeing everywhere. Also, a good thing to note: anytime that you use a use a use a powered up move, the spin jump can also be used on enemies. And if you use one, use it on on an enemy in the field, you don't waste any FP doing it. That's very nice. Anyways, we want to come over here, grab this. This is the charge badge, one of my personal favorites, especially for early game. As what this does is that whenever Mario uses this and you find it in the tactic menu, it charges Mario's attack by either one or two. Anyways, uh, just gotta time this right because the camera's in the way. And go, go, boom. And we got ourselves the la our second to last shine sprite in this area, if I believe correctly. And I don't, yeah, there's nothing in these other bushes. <coughs> Anyways, we will meet you guys back over to where the punies are. Cut. And we're back, everybody. Now, you see, since this pedestal technically acts as, like, one of the other ones, you're gonna want to put all the punies on there. You, you're gonna want to butt stomp that. And then proceed to blow them all into the oblivion with a flurry. Now, I will admit, this takes a while. What I like to do is just sort of like reset it. That way the punies aren't don't get stuck on the don't get stuck on the ledges. That for me and my personal experience helps clear this up much faster. Come on, you stupid pun. There we go. And we have all 101. So yeah. Anyways, I like to just sort of like shimmy them back and forth a little bit because the punies will move to your movements. So this sort of helps mitigate the problem of losing Pikmin in your party by accident. You want to do, and you want to do the same thing over here. Wow, that was probably the best that has ever happened. Wait a second. Okay, never mind. I guess it must have just kind of Punio in my party or something. Anyways, uh, we're... More enemies. Okay. Just want to go in and switch to Gamela, because I think... The curse just up my just to in, just doubled my star points, which is kind of nice, but I think I would rather want that for a boss. Okay, this room. <clears throat> okay, you're gonna want to you're going to need coops for this. Okay, and then first thing you want to do is hop across here, and then go up the pipe, and you see this odd switch here. When you step on it, it pushes it pushes that block down. However, you want to wait for this for the for that block to push to go back up, release coops, and now you have released all the water from the upper floor to, down to the bottom floor. And now we we have a place to actually walk across. And if we come down here, we will find a chest which contains a shrink stomp. Basically, it basically acts as like a mini Mr. Mini, but it's not that useful in my opinion. And you'll also find a Dizzy Dial. Dizzy Dials are very effective on flying enemies. Just as a sort of a note. And, uh, depth perception can be a bit of a problem at times. Okay, huh, it looks like Jowl's showing the beginning of this. Okay, that's our final shine spread of the area. And, uh, by the way, I might as well show what happens if Mario falls into water. A little chopper comes up to bite him, and, it, and you always take only one, and you always take one point of damage. It's just sort of like a mini punishment, in a sense. And uh, this is why you need all 101 of them. It's because of this one pedestal right here. <coughs> and this forces the platform to go all the way down.
Okay, now, I ha you know what? I'll leave Goombella in the, in the front for the time being. But before we face the boss of the area, I want to swap- I'm going to swap to Flurry just to give her a little bit of screen time to show off some use. Actually, maybe not, because I want to tattle the enemy even though I don't have to. Hmm, let me see. That thing's gotta be around here somewhere. Buh -huh? What's that? Whoa, sounds like a mob. Better clear out. <laughs> Down with the x knots. <laughs> Down with the X-Knots! Down with the X-Knots! Actually... Because the question is at this point, you know what, I'll, I'll give Flurry some use. I'm actually curious what happens if you somehow lose punies and then try to activate this switch. Because you need all 101 to, to activate the switch. To activate the switch before. Oh dear me, Mario, isn't that the crystal star? Oh dear, that wretched beast again, dearie me! <laughs> Man, am I lucky or what, or am I just good? Oh, you say you need a crystal star, little crumb? Boom, falls right in my lap! Still, this is humiliating. You shouldn't have been able to escape that cell. So, for insulting my awesome trap, I'm gonna repay you with a little present. Know what it is? Oh, just a little something I like to call a remote time bomb detonator. Available at your local, or your local boom market. <laughs> I'm gonna use this to bury you in those squirmy punies and rubble. Sound fun? Well, enjoy your final minutes inside this dank old tree. And with that, pow, gone. We have 300 seconds, essentially three minutes to get through this. And, uh, what I like to do here is just sort of leave them. Because, <laughs> uh, because, by the way, you technically have all the time in the world to get through this. It's just how I like to do things. <coughs> okay. And the timer persists even through battle. Ow. Okay. And remember what I said about said about enemies in in the last part. Enemies do not respawn in the in the tree. Also, the secret shop is right is right across the floor of this area. So if you want to do that, now is the time to do that to to get some sort of auxiliary support. I don't really need that. In fact, let me just check. Yeah, I don't really need it. And uh, the timer does pause when you're when you pause the game, so you don't have to worry about it just going off like that. And you do tenic and you have technically plenty of time. The only way you won't have enough time is if you don't take out all the enemies beforehand. Which is why I suggest taking out every single enemy you come across. Because not only will you naturally be at, at around the right levels to face every single boss by the end of the chapter or so, just by just by attacking every enemy that you come across. And as you can see here, since we're not having to worry about the punies this time, we can just do that. And you know what? I'm going to go into battle with Flurry and not Goombella. Okay. And we have like a minute or so to spare. You won't be going any farther this away. What? Are you snots? Move, you old geezer. What? Did you just call me an old geezer? Where did you get off talking like that? You got no respect, Brad. Don't think my age has a thing to do with my might. <coughs> Even if it kills me, I won't let you through. I'm ready. Elder power activate! Whoa, what's your problem, Grandma? You got an ear hair to in your brain or what? Oh, oh, what the ouch! Can't take another step! Ugh. Yeesh. What a time for my stupid back to start acting up. You hot-headed old coot, you dare to find me? I can shine my boots with you. Yes, yeah, says the man sh that was shrieking before his elder a moment ago. You'll do no such thing. 
Honestly, did you really think we'd let a wretch like you escape? I do believe you'll be handing over the Crystal Star and pro and probably exiting the street. <laughs> you guys are nuts, you know that? Oh well, guess I better shut this shut off this timer. And uh, by the way, if you let that timer keep going and you just sort of like let let all the dialogue play out like that, if you let the timer go off during that sequence, the the tree actually you do get a game over. So that's where they got the idea of the item ball capsule. And that explains why it was so horrible in Mario Party 5! Awake, Magnus Von Grapple! Time for our tech for technology technological thrashing! Enjoy! I love this boss fight so much! It's just. It's just. Huh. He likes robots too. <coughs> this song. This song is my jam! Are you crying yet? Yeah, sorry, but this isn't armed with tissues. Will Magnus Von Grebel has that effect on people. Total weeping terror. And you ain't seen nothing yet. Check out the power of this bad boy. Mercy me, that metal colossus is incredible. And yet, there's something rather odd about it. Let's just keep our eyes peeled. Don't be careless. This is one of those occasions where, where your crowd is set. The crowd will always be set to half punies, half exonauts, in the way that you that you see below. Now, for a lot of the boss fights from here on out, I like to just char, like to just use charge, and then basically try to end it in one fell swoop. And by the way, Gale Force does not work on, does not work on bosses. Can can't fault you for thinking that. Magnus Von Punish. <laughs> this is so awesome. <clears throat> He always, that's one of his standard attacks, and as long as you, like, you know, you do your charge setups like this, you won't have much to actually worry about. And, you know, it does, you know, do some damage. Goombella would technically do more, but for this setup, I don't really mind. Ow. And, yes, he does do two damage. I want to sort of keep charging a little bit. And uh, body slam again. And uh, I don't remember how much HP he has. I'll be sure to put that in post editing for you guys. Okay. Now, I think that's about enough. I'm gonna use a power punch on Mario. This already increases my attack power by a, by a little chunk. And then. Seven, six, five, four, and boom! Insta win! <laughs> yeah, you can make this fight really easy if you want to. It's really easy to break these fights in this game if you want to. And and that's when it, and that's when it honestly starts. <coughs> and I always find it funny that Punipert is always the one that's like right behind you when that happens. Oh, no, Magnus won Gapple! How could we lose? Simple. You forgot to mention the part where it failed to include, where batteries are not included. <laughs> he summons us. Retreat! <laughs> Basically, you know, we win the day, and then we earn, and then we earn our green star! You know what this means, guys? Only 119 to go! <laughs> <laughs> one green star down, only a nine, only 119 left to go. But you know what, if that means I have to file like 119 more Magnus Von Grapples, I think I can handle that. <laughs> and so after pummeling Lord Crump, <laughs> Mario obtained the second crystal star. But that's not gone, you know, day is saved. <clears throat> now we're not ending the video off here. We're going to at least go through the Peach section and maybe the Bowser section, because the Bowser section is actually really fat. Because uh, each second chapter Bowser section, or at least even number of Bowser section, is really quick. What? Say that again! You can't get in touch with Lord Crump! You are correct, sir. We are investigating now. We should hear any time. Sir Grotus, please allow me to enter. You already did. <laughs> yes, what is it? I have a report, sir. The crystal star in the Boogaloo Woods have been, 
has apparently been taken by Mario. What? You must be joking. What about Lord Crump and the Shadow Sirens? Uh, I'm sorry, sir. Unfortunately, Mario laid a beating on all of them. Hmm, disturbing. This Mario character, what kind of... Speak up, Exnaut! What is the status of the other Crystal Stars? I apologize, sir. We are still searching for the other Crystal Stars. Unsuccessfully, sir. So, it turned... Oh, this is this is really important. We knew of three of them. Hooktail Castle, Buggerly Woods, and the one we got in Rogue Park. That tells us that the... I get the feeling that the one that they found in Rogue Park was the one that was that was related to what, Pe to what Peach found. That or it might have been something completely unrelated altogether. As I suspected, there's no reason to doubt that Mario has that map. He must. Listen up, you. I want you to keep a close watch on what Mario does from now on. Absolutely, sir. Mario, I loathe you. Yeah, sweet. <laughs> so, yeah, essentially Peach is left just about completely in the dark. And we just sort of have to run around back and forth a little bit. Okay, there we go. Anyways, we'll meet you up to where Tech is in just a sec. Cut. Hello, Prince and Speech. I am glad you came. That mail I sent to Mario, did it reach him all right? Yes, I can confirm that Mario received the mail. Is that so? Well, that's good. So what do you want from me today? Is there, is there more you want to know, know of love? You expressed regret earlier that you f would not be able to dance at a ball, correct? Excuse me? Were you eavesdropping? I am sorry, Princess Peach. I have been ordered to keep surveillance on you. But it is odd. When you said that I when you said that, I had an impulse to dance with you as well. How my CPU would produce this impulse is inexplicable. I must find what caused it. Find out what caused it. There's no reason behind such a feeling, Tech. Wanting to know something to wanting to do something together, it's part of love. I know it. But then again, you are, well, a computer. Princess Peach, please dance with me. Wait, wait just a minute. What, what am I supposed to do? You say you want to dance with dance. It's just so bizarre. I mean, how in the world can I dance with you? You have no arms or feet or moves. <laughs> Would this be an acceptable dance substitute? Wow, I've heard about ten. I've talked about being lonely, but this is ten dancing with myself taken to a whole another level. <laughs> oh, all right, I guess. <laughs> Join me, my brothers, for to for tonight we dance with the devil, or rather ourselves, I guess. This is basically just our quick time event. You can, you have to get most of these right, but I think you can screw up five times, it's either five or three. I just prefer to get them all right if I can. And if you screw up, you have to do it again. Just think before you press. Sweet. Those are some sick dance moves. Thank you, Princess Peach. That was very fun. Just a moment. Fun? Is this impulse, I feel, the concept known as fun? Tech, are you okay? Princess Peach, I will fulfill my promise to you. Please use my communicator. Use the keyboard to send whatever message you want. I'm finished, Tech. Could you send it? The message has been sent. Please go back to your room. I want to analyze the data from this dance immediately. The data that I thought was fun. You're a weird computer. No, you are mistaken. I am the world's best and only perfect computer. 
Good night, Princess Peach. Anyway, that's our Peach section of the day. Now, I'm going to go a, a little bit beyond and go ahead and take care of the Bowser section. And uh, a lot of people are going to be really happy about this. And uh, this is this is great. <coughs> Sorry about that. I'm pretty sure it's just up ahead here. Right as usual, Lord Bowser. We just got word that Princess Peach was spotted in the town up ahead. Good, yes, very good. Then I'm off. Those fools don't know what's coming. Wee! <laughs> My lord, you're so super. Would you say that it's very Super Bowser Bros? Or just Super Bowser? Yup. You press the A button to jump and you press the B button to use your flame attack. This is just very simple, and eating these pieces of meat will upgrade you. And when you get to max size like this, you'll end up turning invincible. When this happens, just rush straight forward. And look at that. A time of only one. We got a good time. And by the way, uh, the first number in the like, you know, like the world selection part is the is the part of the is the part of the game that you're at. But the second one, the one that comes after the dash, is how many attempts you're on. It's a nice attention to detail. Oh, hey, welcome to Petalburg, and... Eek! Hide, everybody, hide! <clears> hmm, <throat> <clears throat> what a wuss. Yes, hi, chickens. I have no need for any of you. What I do need, though, is Princess Peachy. Now, where is she? Tell me this instant! <coughs> Lord Bowser, over there! Bingo! Princess Peach! Man, that was easy! I should have known. I found you, my princess! I, Bowser, the mighty Koopa King, offer my greeting. Now, no, none of that silence you meet. You're coming to my castle with me. Me! <laughs> Clearly, she's so overcome with joy that she's been left speechless. The mind of a maiden is, well, rather complicated. <laughs> Not that you would know anything. <laughs> I see, I see. How refined. How elegant. Awesome. I suppose I could live with a silent princess. It might even have its perks, you know? Wow. <laughs> no! My, my life's treasure. I'd rather die than give up my life-size peach poster. Yep, this guy's a peach fanboy. And it turns out that it was nothing more but a life-sized of... portrait of peach. P poster Oh my goodness me. Didn't see that coming. Urgh, great. Just great. Now they're like the, like the huge mighty king of guys who talk to posters. Man, I feel for him. Anyways, guys, we are going to meet up with meet up with you guys later in the Mario section. See you all then.